So hello everybody, it is Friday, so it's time for another DAX Friday, it's a new DAX function every Friday. Now, in today's DAX Fridays, we're going to look at a function called Intersect. We're going to see how it works and what you can do with it. It's actually quite a cool function. So let's get started. Okay, so if you seen the video last Friday, this is going to sound familiar. Let's leave it like that for now. So I have a sales table, I have products and sales, and then I have a stock table where I have products and stock, the number of things in the stock. Let's say that I want to know the sales of the products in stock. I can actually use the function intersect to do that. But before we do that, we're looking at the function. It says it returns the intersection of two tables. We have all the functions that do that in DAX, I've shown you before. But what you basically do is you have a table with values, another table with values, and if you do intersect, it gives you the common values of both tables. So you just, let's look at that before I show you how to do the other thing. If we go to new table, for that you need to create a table, and we are going to put intersect, and then you might think, it says just left table, right table, so you might think that, oh, I can put just sales and stock, and good to go, but that's not going to work. We have had this problem before. You have to indicate exactly which columns you want to, what's the key thing. Unless it's just one column and then you're fine. So what I found that it works is to use values and then sales and then you pick the, the column that is the key, if you would say so, and then values and then again the product, the column that is the key, which is product. And that will basically give us the values that are in the seed table and the stock table. Okay. Now, with that in mind, what we want to do is to use exactly these, but we want to get the sales. You see where I'm going, right? So if we go in here, we can, instead of using as a table, we can use it inside calculate to get what we want. So stock sales intersect calculate I still don't have a measure for sales which you should have but we're going to write like that for now and then you just write intersect intersect you yeah, come on and then again values sales product name and then values stock, product, you dump the product name, you put your new intersect and then it will give you the values that you wanted. So um, that's how easy it is and there's no relationship between the tables. You, what is that table? Oh, that's the one that we created. Let me delete that and you'll see that it still works. Where are you? No relationship there. We still get the values. So we're good to go. Okay. So now there is another way to do it. So I'll show you that last Friday. So go to the link in there or in there. I think it's going to be in there maybe. And then check it out how you can do the same with contains. Which one is faster? Performance things, you have to do it on your model because it depends on the model, the data, how many tables, the granularity of the tables, the cardinality of the tables, blah, blah, blah. Tag Studio, connect your model and check which one is faster, okay? So see you again on Monday. To enjoy your weekend, enjoy your vacation if you have one, and bye-bye.